Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey, and today we are going to be working on our motorbike rental place. It's owned by Franklin, we're going to finish in, we're going to start finishing up this area. I know this video is long overdue, there's been some videos ahead of it, but we're finally here. So we're going to start by filling up this area. So we're finally going to kind of square off this area. We're not going to take too much of the river. I still don't want to overtake them, but we do have to fill up just a little bit so I can have enough space so we can do the rental uh, motorbike area. There's going to be a few jet skis as well. We're going to do a little build, you know, it's not going to be super flashy, but it's going to be something nice that fits in this area very, very nicely. At the same time, there's going to be like a, a little balcony right over here. That's going to look a little bit over the river, a little fencing, and we're just going to continue uh, to keep working on our coastal town. So this, this video is going back to the layout of the town. So we finished the cul-de-sac. So before my original idea was the cul-de-sac and we're gonna have a row. But to make it an actual cul-de-sac, we went ahead and took out that extra row. It's gonna be just a pavement now. And then it's gonna, we're gonna have a bridge that leads across the river and we're gonna make it to the other side of the island. And that's where, where we're slowly heading. So we're gonna plant uh, some palm trees with the coconuts and we're gonna kind of alternate between the two different palm trees we're gonna have also the hedges, we're gonna have bushes, and we're just gonna continue planting. Uh, that way we can continue uh, building the, the area. As well, we're gonna have uh, more of the the string of lights right over here. Uh, those, uh, it's gonna be kind of a little, to give it that little like, uh, like when, when you go to a car sale lot, like a used car lot and stuff like that, and, and you see all these uh, extra lights all around the places, very, open outdoor so that's kind of like the vibe that i'm trying to go with and so that's why we are making this area a little more square kind of to feel kind of like a little parking lot type of feel but instead of using uh the black cobblestone we're going to be using more of more palm wood uh, i think i ended up going with the gum wood so when we get to that part of the project we are gonna try to reach that point and continue so over there um, the video just stood there for a while I think I was thinking what how I was gonna approach the next step of the build so and because I think I originally I didn't wanna I was trying to see if I didn't need to fill a little bit more over here but as the more thinking about it and looking the layout that I wanted to do I knew I needed to kind of square it off and that's why we're gonna be seeing here I don't I Try not to go as far, far as I don't need to, but I am gonna close it off with the cement, with the cement that we see in the front, and that's what I'm gonna try to do. And and as well as we close closing the area off, I'm just thinking. I've just been thinking a lot to see. Um, are, over here, I am trying. I, I didn't wanna go into the river, so I was like, okay, what about if I try to make it smaller? But going small was not gonna work. It just it wasn't exactly the vision so i was like okay well let me go back let me find the edge exactly where i need it to be and go for it and then i thought i could have it up to here but eventually we are gonna have to extend it one more square because the way i had to put the fence and the way i have to put the the next uh, string of light and all that kind of to everything to make everything match and work together is I did have to extend it one more time. So we're gonna extend it to where you see on the bottom. We're gonna extend it one more row and they kind of close this area off right over here. And and then I knew I was gonna have this little pass pathway right over here. So I was trying to decide what, what kind of um, plant life I, I wanted to do. So I decided to go with the yellow uh, wattle bushes because um, I'm, I'm gonna try to bring a little now more yellow into the the coastal town so I'm gonna work with purple and yellows at this moment so and I think that's a good combination it feels very uh, coastal to me a lot of the yellows and then the purple already here is the natural flower that's spawning in the tropics and that's what I'm gonna try to use that way I don't have to use too just the purple and the green we're gonna bring a little more yellow so that way when they start blooming and all that we can have that 
all together looking very nicely and it give, it's gonna give us a little more high variation a little more of the landscaping feel to it and it's just gonna hopefully make this area more complete and more together and then kind of have like a little layer system from front to back to back to front okay so now i was trying to decide uh, if i wanted to use the pombu gate fence and i did like it but then i noticed that it's doing if with the hedges it's trying to attach so i didn't like the way it was going to look having it kind of like uh like a cross so i went ahead and i'm digging down on the hedges just to make sure that they're not touching each other and it's going to work out either uh good because it's going to give us the high variation that we're still looking for and in, in all the builds and and it's going to create just more variety as we're looking at the landscaping and here I'm, I'm filling up the one more layer because uh on the side because i i am realizing i'm gonna need one more row so after i put the the garden lights i'm like yep i i'm definitely gonna need to so but finally i knew i know i don't have to go more beyond this point and so we are gonna just finish this right here so the corner piece i didn't like it as much so um i am gonna try to figure out what to do there uh so i took it out because i kind of didn't like how the cross look and and we're gonna then uh, come back approach it as more as i i feel to make to make it more complete all right, so now on, on this, on the garland, so I decided to go with uh, the, the palm wood just, just to give it a little more of a feeling right between the, the two uh, string of lights, uh, kind of uh, be between the poles. I, I think that was going to look really good. So we're, we're giving it a try. We're going to go ahead and plant them. We're going to uh, make them grow. And, as, uh, and they, as you can see, they grew real quickly because I actually, in part of this video, I went to do part of the lighthouse and I was working on other projects on the side. Then I came back to here, I did a little more work and then I, I kind of was bouncing back and forth between different videos and different uh, builds that I was working at the moment. And so that's why the kind of the palm tree kind of like just overshot it like right away, real quickly, it just started growing. Okay, so, so we got that. And then uh, I remember that I just did Leanne's um, island tour and I love the boat houses. So I kind of now I wanted to incorporate part of that idea into this bill. So now I'm going to readjust everything that I was doing and working. And now we're going to complete the last row that I needed to do. We're going to try to put two of these houses right over here. And the idea was originally kind of make him use kind of like a little garage, like the overstock of the motorbikes and stuff like that were going to be in there, inside of it. And as I was working on that, I started realizing I, I, I kind of tweaked them in, the, in different uh, directions. I, I kind of facing each other. I move them more to the side because I still wanted to use the, the garden lights, right? But and at the end i was not able to use if, if i want everything kind of to look like it's center i had to actually eventually just take that part of the light off and not have it there that way i could kind of make a center i kind of had it a little more centered this way and if you like the way it looks like this go ahead and do it that way but i was i wasn't sold on it because i i don't know like i i envision more like you see them looking forward and it's easy to grab instead of trying to get in on the side but it's this is more taste this is more like this is what i feel like it should be uh and then you can go with uh either direction that you would like to go so if you like him sideways you want to face him forward you can just have one you can have four you can put all around the garden light like if, if you have more space and you want to put two here two on the other side two on the other side and just kind of make them all around that actually be a kind of cool idea just you work all the way around of the of of the lights and then have like different openings and use them to to fill up that area and make it look very heavy with machinery with all the jet skis or anything and anything that you want to put in there but for now i went ahead and i, I was trying to kind of designer right so then i yeah right here it started feeling more center right so i was like okay so now this looks good so we're gonna go to different versions of this particular scenario uh one of them i i raised 
the dirt up. I wanted to see how it looked higher with steps, but I wasn't convinced once again. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't hit me just the way I wanted uh, to hit me. I don't know why I just didn't ended up not liking it. So we're gonna end up moving all of that and, and then breaking all down. I kind of raised the fence on the back of the houses right there. And I raised them up, I pulled like the hedges and we tried that as well. I wasn't convinced after looking at it a couple of times in different angles. And it, it, this is more, I just kept playing with it and kept playing with it and trying to find, and I, I'm still trying to, as I can tell here, I'm still trying to use the lights. I see if somehow I can kind of center it, but it was not working. So here is when I, I think I just, I start deciding to, okay, I kind of want to feel like to raise this and maybe give him a little more high, more elevation, and maybe put some steps. But I think if I remember right, because this one now, this video was recorded a while back. So now I finally get catching up to it. Uh, and normally I kind of, work on it, record it, and then I do the voice work. But I was excited for other projects, so I went ahead and skipped. But if I remember right, I believe it was the steps that wasn't selling me, that I maybe I wasn't able to put them um, the way that I wanted. Maybe it just didn't look complete. There, there was something about it that we're gonna see very soon and that will kind of refresh my mind. But here, I decided to, to try something more different. So I was like, okay, well, let me take the flower boxes off. I kind of want to attach it to the hedges fence. So let me raise a little higher so everything can look kind of attached complete. And honestly, it doesn't look bad. But uh, once again, I don't know, like I wasn't feeling it. It wasn't, I kind of like what I had before, what I had on the other side. Um, okay, so here, yeah. So it's the steps are, I guess because it didn't match completely on the corners. I think that's why I decided to take the step offs. Um, and, and that's being more picky, right? Because I want the palm trees. You see the palm trees where they're landing, right? Uh, the, the coconuts on the floor. I still want to keep those there. So my reasoning is I don't want to take out the coconut palm trees that are gonna grow in those particular locations. So I want to keep those. So, but I didn't like the way the steps were looking for my view, right? My, my view. You guys may looking at it and be like, man, that actually looks good. I like the way it looks elevated. And if you like it, do it. I do have plans to make uh, another area and I'm gonna be using this and I'm gonna use a lot more of these houses. I got this vision to make this uh, awesome. Hey, well, I'm not, I don't wanna say it. We're gonna keep it on the wrap so you guys can see it. Uh, very soon because it could be one of the next builds that I do just depending which direction I want to head on the island If I did head head down more in the middle to the side I could be start working on that But if I go the other direction, then it's gonna be something else So depending what I am feeling on building was what I'm excited about uh, That's the direction that we're gonna go. So here I was trying to do my idea, right? I, I took the motorbikes I went ahead and put them inside there thinking like overstock, like, you know how people have sometimes those big giant and containers on the parking lots and there's like overstock in there. So that's what I was thinking, but I didn't like how the actual, the motorbikes looked in there. And there was something, I think it's because part of the hay is still there and I can still see it. And, and once again, I'm just being more picky and I just wasn't buying the look. Now, when I started taking them out and putting the bikes this way, just to park them, I actually, that was not intended. I just kind of was getting them out of the way and not, I, I just didn't want to block my pathway, but I like how they landed. <laughs> and I remember looking at it, I was like, you know what? I actually like the way the motorbikes are just parked right here. It, in kind of semicircle form and it looked really good. So that's when it clicked me and, and clicked on me. And I was like, you know what? What about if I bring jet skis? And then we got both. So originally it was just gonna be the motorbike, right? We're gonna put some in the right where these bottom bikes are at. We're just gonna put some there. We're gonna put some inside the, the, the little houses. But since I didn't like that look, I wanted to try something else. And I was like, you know what? What if I bring jet skis? So then the jet skis, I kept trying different ways. I was like, is there a, a way that I can kind of block a little bit of the hay? And that's what you see here. I'm going back and forth, back and forth, put them in different directions, put them more inside, more on the side. Uh, right here, this was one way that I kind of was blocking, but I didn't, didn't like the look that in, 
the jet ski was kind of hanging from the front, you see all that space on the back, so it fell off. It didn't feel correct to me. I just was not believing the bill the way it's supposed to work. So I kept tweaking it and I kept working on it. I went back to the jet ski, I moved it one couple more times, then I found a spot that it covers most of the hay. It still looks good and I was very happy. And and once I found that, I was I was complete. I was like, yes, this is what we're gonna keep. This is the way I'm gonna do it. And now I know for the future, future areas, I know this is how I can kind of use it. All right, so uh, so we're finishing. We're putting a little bit of, of the tropical grass in areas that I, uh, I can't put it. Uh, I went ahead also and put the signs on the front. And then I'm gonna grab a bike. I'm gonna put a bike on one side. Then I'm gonna grab a jet ski, put the jet ski on the other side. And that way we have a little more stuff for the build, right? Uh, a little more uh, variety, a little more element, a little more decorations, and everything starts looking good. So finally, I, I decided, you know what? I don't like this fence. I just don't like the look. I really like the way I have it on the other side with the, uh, the with the flower boxes and all the ferns. So. Uh, there was something in the hedges and you guys know I'm a fan of the hedges, but it wasn't working for me. So I decided, you know, just take it off. Let me put it the way that I had it back. I think I like that level. I like the high. I like the way everything was feeling. So, and that's where we are heading right here. Just kind of putting everything back the way I first initially had it. Okay, so now I'm gonna be tweaking a little bit on the entrance. I, I still feel like there's something that is not working for for me. Uh, so I'm, I'm going back and forth. I took the live, tried to put it another place. They don't like how that feel. And it just, you know, I kept going around and around. I'm looking at different areas once again. I'm just walking, trying to get a feel, trying to get what I am missing, what what what's, what is this not working with me. Then I went ahead and put another garden like. I walked back. I like the way it, it felt. I like the way it looks. It matches everything on the top. And, it, and then we, we're creating this atmosphere, right? This section up here is very lively, very, very kind of kind of welcoming, like saying, hey, come over here and check my products, check my area, check what we have. You know, um, I think Franklin is going to like it. It's going to be enjoying it because I, th I think this, this is slowly coming together. Now, the vision that I have is slowly being tweaked, right? Because I've been... I'm being inspired by you guys. I've been hearing new ideas, new ways to do things. So now I'm slowly trying a couple things that they weren't planned. So I'm kind of restructuring now the stairs. I decided to go with a uh, two stairs uh, Y instead of three. Three originally was to match the bridge, but now that I'm the top area has changed quite a bit. So now I prefer the two steps to match more on the top area than to match the bridge. Uh, the, the land bridge right there that we made um, and then it just kind of get kind of curves in and all that so it's not symmetrical but I feel uh, at least for my for what I can tell right now it could change in the future but for what I can see right now and I'm enjoying more the two wide matching the top than three wide matching the bottom and over here I'm playing around I wanted to see if I wanted to go a little more fancy or keep it more basic so i'm going around and testing just different things just to see what i what i what felt better for for this little entryway and i decided not to go too elegant because there's everything else around it is very um let's say normal right uh, very just uh, boxes just a uh, very greenery very coastal you know you got your deck area there there's nothing really fancy so uh, instead of putting the birds uh, fountains and stuff like that, so I, dis I decided to take all that off and at the end, we're just gonna put a little cement pillar. I think the pillar just gives it a little bit of touch. It's, instead of keeping it flat, it gives it just a little bit of height and it matches the cement and it stays like that. And I like that. If For, for my taste and for what I was trying to go for, I, I did decide that I did end up liking it. I kind of now took the next two and now we have this little, kind of little stairway. Very nice, very neat, very simple, not too overdone. I am, there I was trying the bushes, but the, the bushes will hide completely the whole pillar situation. So I didn't want to hide it. I kind of want to be able to see it. And, and that's what we're doing, right? Is 
when, when you come to building, when you come to the layout, when you come to um, planting the plants that you want, planting the everything that, that you want to use, this is the way to do it. You know, you just got to try it in, try it out, try it in, try it out. Okay, so the the these boxes right here, the compost boxes, uh, this idea came from um, Benny. Benny, uh, for now, since we don't have real trash cans in in Dincom right now that, you, we, that we can put outside for trash and stuff like that, uh, I've been seeing uh, he, he, he uses as more like trash cans around the city. So I, I kind of wanted to start doing that, but at the same time, I'm like, you know what? This look good for out here, like they're getting ready for a shipment. So I put him across the dock area to give, to give us a little different type of tone of brown that it will work better for this for, for the area and it kind of makes it a little more full but at the same time I'm going to put in different areas across the different parts of this town and the old town that I have and they're, they're, they're all going to become like a little trash cans you know and I, and I think that was a clever idea so I want to give credit to Benny because he he mentioned that he wanted and uh, I love the idea and that's where we're going so now the way that I put the jet skis right here it worked out uh, really great and because it covered most of the hay, it's hanging a little bit on the front, but it worked out just right. And I kind of did enjoy it. I think it was good. And now the area finally is getting, is getting together. It's, it's finally working towards the goal that we that I wanted it to be, a little place outdoor, kind of like when, when you see uh, real outdoor places where people are selling used cars or stuff like that. You got your your lights and and your variety of product and then and here we're walking on the end result uh, i don't have the final uh, little clip video because i was doing so many different things that either i didn't record it i don't know i don't have the final details but we did added a windmill on the back there we went ahead and added uh two bulletin boards right up here i think that that gives it and especially at night it gives a little more something so and now we got also the bulletin board so we don't have to be so far away uh to go find them we got one next to the house so it's really easy to get and then the vibe i think we i managed to do exactly what i wanted not too big but not too small it's right next to the corner it finished the cul-de-sac bill we get all this stuff we got the dock at the bottom so the whole bill for franklin uh, we still need to finish the volleyball court. We still need to finish the other side of the cul-de-sac to have the Franklin area 100% 100 completed. But but yeah, but this is the bill. This is the motorbike rental bill and it's all done. So I'm so happy. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos and we'll see you next time. All right, see you later. Bye.